Hey guys, welcome back to Transworld Snowboarding. This will be the end of career mode. Oh, oh the end? So soon? Is there anything after that? A uh, little bit. Okay. But here we got the last two levels. We got the hella drop. The hella drop. Oh, it's hella. shit. Hella oh. drop. We're about that to drop that base. Oh, bro. Dude, it's all about that <laughs> <base>. <laughs> we, We're awful. Let's you stop. sound less like a bass dropping and more like a dog dying. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> All right. So, you guys remember that bat country track we got, like, at the start of the game? Bat country? Bat country. Bat you can't country? stop here. This is bat country. <laughs> Yeah, make him be down of himself. Yeah, yeah, that track. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, we finally got another one, so we got those five, uh, um, like little ice wall things to find, and then a bunch of other like score stuff. Swag. Yeah. Swag stuff. Uh, swag. Yeah. Your swag. Hey, hey, hey Matt. Hey. I had an idea, uh, like literally minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I think Ben and Jerry's should make an ice cream flavor, which is like loaded with Pop Rocks. And I, when I say loaded with, I don't mean like like a little bit of Pop Rocks in there, or even a medium amount. I mean like way too many Pop Rocks. Uh -huh. Like, so many Pop Rocks, that when you open it, it's like, like constantly popping and fizzing and like exploding out of the thing. Right. Right? Making a big fucking mess. And then you call the flavor Explosious. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Why Everyone loves yet? Pop Rocks, man. Those Sonic slushes where you can put the Pop Rocks in. Shit, I'm addicted to those. I yeah. noticed. I, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like the fucking crack like that, every time I Like that one sip. time you were going to go to Sonic for like an hour. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was before they had the Pop Rock slushes. Now was I don't it? need an hour. Now no, I... no, that was before they had the Pop Rock slushes. Yeah, here. now I decide and I go, like, immediately. <laughs> Guys, every single time, there's a Sonic right near where I work, and I go to Sonic for lunch, and every time I go there, I just keep thinking of you going to Sonic forever. Okay. This is this is something that happened when we weren't recording. Uh, we, were, we were sitting around just shooting the shit, and... Uh, Connor said, I'm gonna go to Sonic soon, and then like, an hour later, he was still talking about going to Sonic. <laughs> he was still saying he was gonna go The rest to of Sonic. us were like, go! If you wanna go, just go! He was going it to Sonic one of those... for like, two hours, man. <laughs> I, wasn't I even still one of those, those like, maybe I should go there. kind of things. He wanted to go, and did go, but it just took him an hour of hyping himself up for it. <laughs> Every single time I go to Sonic, I still think of that. It's just permanently, like, ingrained in my memory of Connor just going, I'm gonna go to Sonic. <laughs> yeah. And then just not going. <laughs> I made it eventually. <laughs> right, you did eventually, but... See, I like to imagine that whole time, like, like, Insetic was going to Sonic. He was just on an epic journey, like, Sonic's right, he was like Skyping from, from his from phone, his even yeah. though I thought he was in the apartment, and... He was, he was like, just a driving there, very slowly. No, he was on an epic journey. He had to, like, kill a dragon and, like, <laughs> save you, three princesses. If you princesses. listen closely, you could hear cars honking at him. From... Yeah. You could hear tires screeching and, yeah. you know, the car, dragon roaring. The car going airborne. I think I, I, think I heard a yeah. cow fly into the distance because he lightly tapped it with his car. Right. Right, right. Or, like, those moose or whatever was in this Speaking thing. of cows flying into the distance, this almost kind of boring. Yeah. yeah, there's, there's I'll not address, a lot in this level. There's some I mean, really there's, big jumps. But. I mean, look at the map on the left. That's literally one path up until the halfway point. Yeah. And that path is, like, weird to get tricks on. This level's really hard to get the score requirement on. And it, feel, it feels like an for. arbitrary hardness as well. You know? well but I, 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 I can't verify it. Well, I guess I can load up the game and load up levels over and over until I get this loading screen. But I swear to you, there is a loading screen that says, like, hitting those animals actually is pretty fun, isn't it? Wow. There better be a loading screen that says that. It's, it's something like that, yeah. Like, that was a pretty weird looking animal. I was playing uh, <laughs> to get footage for the bonus video, wasn't recording, and um, that happened. That loading screen happened. But, you know. 
So we will have a bonus video after this, of course. Yes. Nice. The bonus video, I've been talking the whole game about how they don't really care that much about keeping you in bounds. And actually, outside of the levels, we see some pretty freaky shit. Yeah. Well, I, I, I wrote a really long soliloquy to Matt about it when I saw when I saw some of these things. Uh, some Lovecraftian horrors and whatnot. Oh, was that what that message was? Yeah, yeah, that's what that was about. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering what that was about. Yeah, I saw some pretty freaky shit in Transworld Snow out of bounds. You didn't yeah. mention Transworld Snow at all. Right, I was just telling you about, you know, seeing... Uh, see, see, I thought landscapes. you went to Sonic or something, and like that <laughs> no, was just no, your journey no, there. No, no, you would have gotten like an hour's worth of, <laughs> of messages if we were gonna go to Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just figured that was like on your journey there. That's what you were seeing. Oh no, no, uh, no! I would have sent you pics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this video is officially sponsored by Sonic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sonic. Nihilus Sonic. <laughs> Sonic, take your time. They're open late. They'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic, the only restaurant's so good you have to hype yourself for an hour. To... <laughs> yeah, to buy like a two and a half dollar sh slush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's weird. You said Sonic, take your time. The other Sonic thing has got to go fast. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I mean, if you wanted no, that's Sonic... that's Sanic. Sanic's got to go fast. That's Sanic's got to go fast. If you wanted Sonic food, you might have to hype yourself up for an hour. I would, yeah. Yeah. If you wanted Sonic in general, you might have to hype yourself up a lot longer considering the recent games. Am I right? Oh! oh. I'm really funny. Shut up. <sighs> Shut your face. I'm really funny. I'm an internet comedian. Internet comedian. <laughs> yeah, I went to Clown College, Princeton's wow. Clown College of Comedy. Matt Rocks 101 is the funniest guy on the internet. Quote cited by Matt Rocks 101. <laughs> Wait, who? So who said it? Me. Matt Rocks. No, you said no, quote I, I, cited. I, I, I know. I realized I screwed up as soon as I said that. Oh, okay. It's a quote by Matt Rocks 101. Oh, I wouldn't so lie to you now, would I? Yeah. Yeah, no, Matt Rocks has never told a lie. I've never told a lie. How do we know that? Because if he was if he was willing to lie, he could have just lied about that. No, he's so believable. Every time he speaks, I feel like most trusted isn't a measurement of how <laughs> how honest he is. Yeah, he's one of the most trusted and most viewed people on YouTube. <laughs> The fuck I feel up. like you're also being a little dishonest. Oh, by the way, w would would Insetic ever lie to you though? Would he? Yes. Yo, no, he so wouldn't. we shut up. So we went through the whole game basically to get the uh, alternate outfit for Daniel Frank, and it's just a T-shirt. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh. That's it. That's all you get. That's it. Wow, that controller is huge. Yeah, man. I forgot. That's the original like brick. Holy yeah. shit! Controller. Those. Those planes, yeah, or those jets. That's uh, this is how you know. Break. break the statue. No, it's actually French. Oh, yeah, right, that's of the course. Same. It is. Yeah. It is uh, so we decided to uh, snowboard right in the big uh, at the end of summer or something. Like, what's going on? Here? I guess beginning of summer. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of snow here. Maybe until you notice, you know, all the mountains and stuff. I mean, and, he's in the background, but on this particular mountain, like look yeah. how much dirt there is, as per how much snow there is. Yeah. You know that, you know that feel. You know that base. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about it. Yeah. Well, you see, the reason that you had to unlock the t-shirt is because who honestly snowboards in a t-shirt? Nobody. It's special. Yeah. But, hey, but you had to unlock that, it. I would think it would be something cool. There's yeah. those people that go skiing shirtless, you know? Yeah, they're not or, wearing a shirt. Are they wearing a t-shirt? Yeah, no. or, or lugeing pantsless. <laughs> yeah. Or bobsledding clothesless. Yeah, that's Like me. I said, are they wearing a t-shirt? I go no. regular sledding clothesless. T-shirts are really lame. No one would be yeah. caught dead wearing one of those. I go ice skating clothesless. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so how long did it take them for them to kick you out, then? Almost immediately, actually. <laughs> Didn't what a take surprise. that long. Yeah. Who knew that the Who knew that the ice skating rink was one of the most heavily guarded places <laughs> in the in town? Well, I mean, they were having a hockey game at the moment. I don't think you have to be that heavily guarded. Yeah. I mean, you've got wow. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice I just punted another animal. Oh, oh and slapped another one. Yeah. Wow. Um, I don't think you need much security to kick one fat slob who's naked who's 
like just storming into the middle of some little league hockey game. Yeah. And, uh, onto the ice. I don't think you need much security. I mean, most of the dads and moms out there would probably keep you from going out there all by themselves. Man, after doing that, I think I respect my dad a lot more. <laughs> what, did, did he beat you up? Was he one of the people there? I just, I just finally kind of understood, you know? Why he beat you up so much? <laughs> understood what it was like to be in his mind. <laughs> Wait, so your dad goes out to hockey games naked and... No, I'm not saying that. I'm well, saying, you're saying it's easier I'm for you to about, empathize. No, I'm talking about those concerned dads who picked me up and violently stomped on my face before dragging so, me so out you didn't and throwing understand me. A, what, you, well, blowing you. Throwing me. <laughs> throwing you to with the dumpster in the back. So you're saying you didn't understand the their concerns. Over. You didn't understand their concerns before you went streaking. But now that you've gone streaking, you understand their concerns. And I mean, if I were a dad, I'd probably be in that same position, you know? So why didn't that occur to you before you went streaking? I didn't have the experience, yeah, he the life experience, he, you know, to know that. Exactly, he had never done it before, so he wouldn't know how dads felt about it. Until That's like it. saying that you don't, well, look, you didn't look, understand uh, the the troubles of retail work until you went to buy something. No, no, like, I have you plenty understand. of retail they, experience on the other like, end. It's like traffic lights. They never build a traffic light until a bunch of people have an accident. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you never right. understand how dads feel until you do it. All right, yeah. until you do the. The, the thing, thing they're against. You would, should already know how they feel about, whoa, that, that animal got lucky. Yeah. yeah. You're going like 100 miles per hour down this mountain. No, he's I'm sorry, going... 100 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Or is that KM? Yeah, that's KM. Yeah, KM. Yeah. Also, there's no snow there. There's barely any snow down here. If it was only regular M, we'd be going Johnny Mosley speed. <laughs> 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 you going M for Mosley's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One Mosley per hour. Yeah. <laughs> Just mosey about yeah. at a Mosley per hour. I, I, I don't know. Did anyone ever do the math about to figure out how many Moseys it is to equal one mile per hour? Isn't it like like yeah. five thousand? It's uh, about seven thousand, I think. Yeah, it's a lot of. Wow, you finished people. breaking your back and then you stood up <laughs> and shadow boxed. If anyone's real curious, all it said was "Congratulations, World Tour completed." Um, That's pathetic. This is the second world tour, you know, I had a practice file, so I unlocked an additional level when I beat that one. Oh. It doesn't say that, because I've already gone through the game once, but we unlocked a bonus level, oh, so we're boy. gonna go oh, there. Oh. And hopefully so cool. YouTube didn't destroy the quality a lot, because when it gets dark, you know. But yeah, we, uh... Is it a night level? Yeah. Oh, okay. We unlock a Bales video, pretty standard. Oh, man. So, like, any time no. I try to get on a snowboard, they just, just that. Basically. Why do these games, I, you brought this up last time this happened, I don't know what game it was, but why do these games always think that we want to be rewarded for going through the whole game by watching people fall over? Because oh, they, no, you know it was Amped 2, and that was yeah. the whole credit sequence. But no, 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 see, the thing is, the thing is, in games that aren't terribly difficult, it's alright, because yeah. then... We, we, it might be, you know, you might get it's a laugh a little, out of it. Yeah, it's a little you know? funny. But like, when the, the game is hard as shit, it, this, it just acts as a reminder for what you just yeah. went through. And you know what else always happens for wow, secret final hard. levels? What? Aliens. No, god damn it! Remember the final level of the first Tony Hawk game? That yeah. was Aliens. I, th I feel like that was the that's the reason. You the remember the very end of Johnny Mosley? That, that was, was Aliens. aliens. Remember God. the entirety of that like dark, dark summit. Dark that summit. was aliens. Yeah. Remember all of like the combat. Wow, actually, this level looks pretty cool. Yeah. The entirety of that combat uh, snowboarding game you played—I forgot the name of. Evolution Evo snowboarding. Snow. Yeah, Evo, Evo snowboarding. Evo snowboarding. That was aliens. Yeah. It was also ninjas and Everything. samurai and uh, and um, like Rick McCrank and yeah. like Mad Max creatures. Yeah. They Rick McCrank like, was brought out of his coma. To save the world once again. Yeah. Rick McCrank really is the Mad Max of snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Which is relevant because Blank Tester and I are going to see Fury Road after this. Oh, but. oh snap, dude. I, I saw that movie already. It was so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. But so like, heard, yeah. Yeah, like, like Rick McCrank 
is really just a legend by this point. You hear stories of him See, coming, you know, showing up when the world needs him most. See, Rick McCrank yeah. is like the ice apocalypse version of, like, you know, Mad Max is in a desert. Rick McCrank's like in the tundra yeah. version of Mad Max. Isn't Rick McCrank a skateboarder and snowboarder now? Yes. So how is he the snowboarding Mad Max? Because Tony Hawk's already the skateboarding Mad Max. Someone needs to be the snowboarder. No, Tony Hawk, Hawk is not. Okay, Rick McCrank is just the extreme sports Mad Max. Yeah, stream sports. Yeah, stream sports. Yeah, like when the world gets taken over by BMX gangs and the only way to defeat them is to out trick their leader in a tail <laughs> whipping contest. Yeah. Rick McCrank's gonna show up. He's gonna come out of hiding. When the world is run by, you know, rollerbladers, and you gotta <laughs> pull sick grinds or you die, you know, if, if they can't call on if they can't m call on uh, Mike Salerno, they'll call on Rick McCrank. Matt Salerno. Matt Salerno. Yeah. Mike Salerno. His <laughs> stepbrother. Yeah. But oh it's shit, we're starting to look get a look at some of these uh, UFOs? aliens. Yeah, it's what like UFOs? it's like the whole like. Independence Day movie style of like uh, giant. Uh, oh you know. fuck! See, uh, I told you, I fucking told you. You were in that. Uh, you were in like Salt Lake City or whatever fucking level, playing around with the, uh, playing around with the, the out of bounds stuff. And I told you I saw lights in the sky. I told you they were fucking aliens. Now you're telling me there are aliens in this game? And yeah. Thanks, please, dude, please do not patronize me with that. It's a jet in the sky bullshit. Those were fucking aliens in that, in that other level, too. And that is an enormous tank. That's an alien tank, I think. Okay. No, the alien tanks look like that. Oh. oh. Well, that was what was going on back there, oh. wasn't it? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, my God. You hit a jet. A yeah, jet see, hit me. there's an alien tank right there. And you just... Oh! This level is awesome! I was going to say, out kind of all of the wonky. levels, this one actually looks the nicest. I like the glow that comes off. And you can yeah, see the green yourself. the green lights look really cool. Yeah, yeah, and the red lights, like the whole thing, like. Looks, and what do you know? It doesn't just nice. look like you painted on the snow. Yeah, oh, it actually, I was gonna say it actually has like like. Are you? you know, here we go. Are, are you, you? Oh, are you in the ship oh, now? Oh. This is gonna be some fucking ET shit. They're gonna take off. Daniel and Frank da phone home. That's the reason Daniel Frank's never been heard from again. Oh. We talked about this last video. He was like an Olympic athlete for a little bit, and then just dropped you off know, the radar. He, he went up to the stars like Johnny Mosley. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Mosley was an Olympic athlete. Oh shit! You know we haven't thought about the plot that's you know connecting all these for a long while, but maybe aliens are coming to take all of the winter athletes away. I thought that was <laughs> obvious. I thought that was clear from the get go. I mean, all the Winter Games have had aliens in them. I don't know if that's entirely true, but have to a lot of them have. All of them, though. Rick yeah. has got to show up, and he's got to rescue them all from aliens. He'll show up and kick ass. Yeah. Yeah. Rick Can you McCrank. imagine Rick McCranky like he, he's like snowboarding and he leaps off his snowboard and grabs a skateboard and he like grinds into the alien ship and then they have like the Daniel guy and like Johnny Mosley are in tubes and he just like busts them out and he grabs a BMX bike and he just starts like tail whipping aliens. Yeah. Yeah, man. They finally corner him and they go like um an alien voice like -ha -ha -ha. That's an alien voice? I don't know. <laughs> Rick McCrank. How, how are you going to get out of this situation? And then he, like, lifts up his shirt and he pulls out a folded-up scooter. And he unfolds it. <laughs> and he puts it down. I thought you were... Okay. And, then, and then the sloppy meat eater starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> and he trucks his way out of there. Wow. He's scootering along. He's Johnny Mosley's coming up behind him. He's scootering out of he's the... He's just zipping past yeah, Johnny Mosley. No, he's zipping past Johnny Mosley doesn't come up behind him. Johnny Mosley, like, gets on his skis, and it's already too late. Like, he's, yeah, he's out of already, sight. Johnny Mosley He's like, I'm coming, guys, up. I'm coming. And he's like, he grabs a Mosley cookie, and he's going, and he's still not catching up, and everyone just accelerates away. And the aliens just go, do we really want to keep him? Let's just let him go. Do you really want Johnny Mosley no, I was, of all I was going to say, they're getting to the cargo hold and there's the big open hangar door as the ship's exploding behind them and Rick McGregor on a scooter like buddy hops and he does a hand clap and you see like they're all on the helicopter and you think like oh shit Johnny Mosley isn't getting out of there and you see like as it's exploding Johnny Mosley jumps out and then he just levitates for a battle <laughs> <laughs> like, he jumps straight up and then the explosion happens 
and he levitates directly horizontally over to the <laughs> over, helicopter. Yeah, over to the helicopter. They're like, Johnny, no! And he's like, don't worry, guys. I got it. <laughs> he just levitates over. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> It does like ten tricks on the way. <laughs> and he's got a narrator's voice Misty. going the whole time. Two times the tricks. <laughs> Sexational. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. I think that's that's pretty good. I awesome. like it, I like it. Yeah. I think I think someone needs to make this happen. <laughs> give me your fan art, people. Give me your stories. Don't give a, don't don't appease this. Brittler. <laughs> oh, now you've gone too far. Oh, okay. You want to fight? Yeah. Let's fight. How, stop. Oh, st- you God. son of a oh, bitch. Oh, you fuck oh, you. Okay. I can okay. breathe now. Okay. All right. Well, Next up, we're going to see in a bonus video that, honestly, they could have done less effort just, you know, putting in invisible boundaries than putting in all these random shit outside the levels. But you'll like see weird geometry. But we'll see. you'll see that next video. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Fuck you.